Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment of the program. We're going to be speaking with CEO and co-founder of Ezra, Mr. Emmy Gall. He's joining us here to talk about Ezra's full body MRI that can scan up to 13 different cancers in the body within an hour. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Emmy. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you, Neil. Thanks for having me. Well, give us a a look into your professional background briefly and um, talk about Ezra's role. Absolutely. Uh, My background is I'm originally from Romania. I uh, studied computer science and biomathematics in Bucharest. And while I was in college, I I started a software company that's very different in space than Ezra that was uh, in the video advertising technology space. That company was acquired by a company in New York City, and that's how it ended up in, in the U.S., and I started Ezra because I am personally at high risk for cancer, and I have cancer in my family. Mm-hmm. So our mission of detecting cancer early for everyone hits very close to home. Now, Ezra has developed a full body MRI that's basically transforming the medical imaging landscape by making cancer screenings quicker, uh, as you say, more accurate and very importantly, less costly than the current standard of care. Tell us about this full body MRI, would you? Absolutely. So, you know, the big problem in cancer screening is that if you take the uh, organs that currently have screening guidelines, such as breast cancer with mammogram or lung cancer with the CT, uh, colon cancer, uh, and a couple of others, those uh, cancers account for only 50% of all cancer incidents. If you take the other 50%, you have cancers like pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, uh, gallbladder, brain, And those cancers don't have screening guidelines. Therefore, you'll generally find out you have one of those cancers if you're symptomatic. And if you're symptomatic, it's generally too late. So at Ezra, we've built this full-body MRI that is analyzed by two expert radiologists that is powered by a suite of technology, and that screens for cancer in 13 organs. And it's a very complementary screening to all of the existing screening uh, procedures, by doing that, we give people a, a better chance at finding cancer ever in the body. Now, obviously, that's extremely important to patients. Uh, but why is Ezra relevant, particularly now to health professionals? Yeah, absolutely. So it used to be that um, as a health professional, you could order a full body MRI scan for a patient. However, the patient would have to spend two to three hours in an MRI scan the cost would be about $10,000. So it, it was not affordable and not accessible to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. What we've created at Ezra is a way to do the scan much faster without compromising on image quality, which has enabled us to decrease the cost from about $10,000 before Ezra to only $2,000. Wow. By doing that, we give uh, physicians a new tool in their toolbox that they can use for screening. Now, I understand that the personalized reports is one of the tools in that toolbox uh, that basically ensures better outcomes for patients and the healthcare provider as well. 100%. So uh, a big challenge in uh, imaging is that radiology reports tend to be very technical. Mm-hmm. And uh, while medical imaging is a great way to screen for cancers, oftentimes, uh, people don't understand what the radiology report actually says. And so at Ezra, we've, call, we've created an AI, it's called the Ezra Reporter AI, that can take any radiology report for an Ezra scan and automatically convert it into a late-term Ezra report that is then uh, sent to the physician and the, uh, and the patient. By doing that, we kind of make... Um, uh, full-body screening and radiology reports much more accessible for anyone. Anyone can read an Ezra report and really understand what, what's going on. And then what we also do is we make recommendations based on the findings, not only when we find something that uh, looks like potential cancer, but also to help people prevent cancer and kind of um, uh, make lifestyle choices that might improve their health. Mm-hmm. An example of that is uh, non-alcoholic fatty liver. So about a third of our male members find non-alcoholic fatty liver. This can lead to cirrhosis. It can lead to uh, other uh, kind of liver issues. It can lead to cancer. 
And so we actually make lifestyle recommendations in order to decrease non-alcoholic fat and liver and then see how that uh, progresses over time through an annual Ezra scan. So not necessarily cancer particularly, but things that could potentially turn into cancer are detected with Ezra's full body MRI as well. Absolutely. Yes. So while our primary focus is finding cancer, the great thing about MRI as an imaging modality is, is that it's highly sensitive and therefore it finds other things that are not cancer but could be clinically significant for a member. So as I mentioned, non-alcoholic fatty liver or disc herniations, aneurysms, hernias, um, uh, cysts, uh, endometriosis, many other types of things that, that could impact one's health. A scan that the results were determined that the patient could undergo uh, surveillance for this picture, that mass, whatever was found, is Ezra's full body MRI indicated as, as a second opinion, maybe for more accuracy, and then come to find out that maybe surveillance isn't the best option, but uh, taking proactive uh, steps now with the uh, full body MRI? Yeah, so that's a great question. Our, our primary focus is screening, um, which means kind of uh, screening asymptomatic, uh, healthy individuals who might not know that they have cancer. That said, Oftentimes, especially for prostate cancer in men, uh, uh, prostate cancer is very slow growing and a lot of prostate cancers are not actually uh, going to kill the patient because they're so slow growing. Something else might kill a man in their 70s uh, than their prostate cancer or his prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes it is best to monitor the cancer over time. However, until Ezra, it was actually very hard to monitor over time because the man would have to undergo a prostate biopsy, uh, which is a very uh, unpleasant procedure where, where a, an ultrasound probe is put through the rectum and poking the prostate um, at random in multiple locations. With Ezra, a man now has the option to track a, a lesion in the prostate over time through a, an Ezra full body scan or an Ezra prostate scan, and only if the lesion accelerates in its growth uh, would then a physician uh, go and, and look at potentially treating that lesion. Now, every year, upwards of 20 million people are diagnosed with cancer. 10 million of those are detected late. And as you mentioned earlier in our conversation, once you're symptomatic, it's usually too late. I understand that thus far, you've helped about 13% of your members detect potential cancers early, which is your goal. What would you say is the big picture issue that Ezra is addressing right now, above and beyond what we've been speaking about thus far? Yeah. Uh, so our... Uh, it comes back to the mission. Our mission is to detect cancer early for everyone in the world. And unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of people did not do their screening that they should have done. Like they skipped a year, maybe they skipped two. And we're now starting to see data on the fact that we're finding cancer later for people. And so what we're focused on every single day at Ezra is making the, the point that the way to beat cancer is to detect cancer early and that the best way to um, detect cancer early is to do all of the existing screening procedures, but also layer in an Ezra full body on top of that. Amy, if you would, give us a website where we can learn more about Ezra. Yes, it's uh, Ezra.com. Uh, you can go on Ezra.com, learn, learn about the scan. Um, you can sign up for a scan on Ezra.com, and we're available in, in four different cities across New York, San Francisco, Bay Area, L.A., and Miami, with uh, many more cities launching this year. Great. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for joining us here on Health Professional Radio and offering some of your time, Emmy. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Mr. Emmy Gall. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.